politicians in Uganda passed legislation that would ensure the life sentence for anyone who is caught in repeated homosexual acts. Now this was a bill that was proposed a while ago. Originally it included a part that would allow for the death penalty for anyone caught in homosexual acts in multiple occasions. But they took that part of it out, and if you're gay in Uganda, you could serve a life sentence. Now, President Obama did speak out against it, and he released a statement saying the following. The anti-homosexuality bill in Uganda, once law, will be more than an affront and a danger to the gay community in Uganda. It will be a step backward for all Ugandans and reflect poorly on Uganda's commitment to protecting the human rights of its people. Now, that is probably probably the right answer uh, to speak out against it, to denounce it. But it turns out that there are some right-wing women in America that are really unhappy with Obama's message. This group is called Concerned Women for America, and they would like to allow Ugandans and people in general to hate gay people as much as possible. In fact, here's their statement. CWA spokesperson Janice Shaw Krauss said that a president's arrogance is breathtaking for saying that Ugandan government that the Ugandan government should stop imprisoning and torturing men it suspects of being gay. Wow, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Wow. you should be able to torture gay people because that's like very Christian of you, you know? Now, that's uh, Joe My God blog reporting on what yeah. she's saying, right? So, and they're paraphrasing her, but uh, that's the essence of what the law does. Mm -hmm. And so she's saying how arrogant of the president uh, to be against uh, this law. You know, uh, there was one other part of the statement of the president that I love that she was against. Uh, he said, we believe that people everywhere should be treated equally with dignity and respect, and then they should have the opportunity to reach their fullest potential no matter who they are or whom they love. The fact that they find that statement outrageous is amazing. I mean, isn't that the most benign statement you've ever heard in your life? These women are so despicable. I mean, they're literally against women in general, and I'll tell you about that in a little bit, but more from uh, Janice herself. She says uh, that Obama repeatedly insists that his personal values and beliefs are equated with the nation's values and beliefs. When he insists that those controversial ideas constitute a human right, the president is saying that the deeply held religious beliefs of many Americans are irrelevant. She also says Western LGBT people are a very small minority of Americans with outsized influence who are attempting to tear down the moral foundations of our nation as well as the rest of the world. Okay, let's let's talk about who is tearing down the foundation of the rest of the world, right? When you have evangelicals traveling from America to Africa to brainwash young people into hating gay people and to the point where they propose legislation that would make it legal to kill them, right? To literally sentence them to death because they live their lives as gay people. Now, they took that part of the legislation out at the last second and they would get a life sentence only for being gay repeatedly. Uh, but they literally did kill uh, one of the top gay rights uh, uh, activists in 2011, there was a newspaper ran uh, article uh, outing him, and they went into his house and they murdered him, right? And now here's the concerned women of America, right, out there saying, the president doesn't speak for our morals, our morals are in favor of this bill, right, are in favor of the people pushing this bill. Mm -hmm. Our morals are for imprisoning and torturing gay people. That's, what, isn't that the moral thing? The president doesn't speak for us with his immorality about treating everyone equally. That obviously wouldn't be the American way. So the Violence Against Women Act was something that was finally reinstated, um, and it basically gives women uh, some power against a man, prosecutorial power, if he has been abusing her in, in, in a domestic situation. Well, they're against that. They say uh, the Violence Against Women Act pits husbands against wives. A woman can, with the barest evidence and no evidence at all, claim abuse and get a husband or partner out of the house. No, no, but that's of course not true. Of course. They have to have evidence, otherwise they can't do it, right? What it, it allows them to do is if they have evidence that they've been physically abused, it gives them protection from their husbands, which the concerned women of America apparently do not want. They want to be able to have their husbands beat them and get away with it and right. still stay in the house. Because they're concerned, Anna. They're concerned for women, as you can tell. Super concerned. And now, if that's your ideology, Janice Shaw Krauss, I think Anna's right. I don't know why you're out there talking yappity yap. I didn't allow you to do that. I'm, I'm a man. You should listen to men and know your role, right? I don't know why you're still talking when you haven't made me a sandwich. 
Now that's your ideology, right? That's not our ideology, that's your ideology. Okay, so go, go come on. I, I like a lot of mayo. I know it's wrong, but that's how I like <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, now by the way, it's not the only thing that uh, she's uh, hideous about. She, of course, she says that the bill uh, will protect Ugandans from social deviance, right? And so she's in, of course, in favor of this hideous bill and against the Violence Against Women Act, as we told you, but she's against all enlightenment, period. It's actually my favorite. Wow. Science, education, enlightenment, not having it. In fact, she says it leads to the Holocaust. Here's a direct quote. You know, the age of enlightenment and reason gave way to moral relativism. And moral relativism is what led us all the way down the dark path to the Holocaust. Dark periods of history is what we arrive at when we leave God out of the equation. Now, to be fair, that's not Janice, that's the head of the concerned women of America, that's Penny Nance, mm -hmm. okay? Reason and enlightenment led to the Holocaust. That's exactly what happened. Yes, yeah. you shouldn't, you should leave reason and enlightenment aside. Instead, you should listen to what some male pastors tell you is the interpretation of the Bible and know your role, okay? Then Penny and Janice, know your role. Tick tock, I still haven't gotten the sandwich. <laughs>